So this is my brand new iPhone. This is the iPhone 6, the standard model, not the plus model. So it's got a 4.7 inch screen, 64 gigabytes of space, and it's in the gray color, the gray black color. And I'm looking forward to this. I haven't had a new phone for about three years. I've got the iPhone 4. So it's quite a big jump for me. The screen is a lot bigger. I'm very excited. Let's jump straight into it and unbox this phone. So that's how it looks when you open up the wonderful box. Oh my God, it looks so pretty. It looks so, so, so pretty. It looks a lot bigger though, sort of what I'm used to. So it might be a little bit of a shock. Um, so then you get that, wonderful. You just get this piece of plastic with like everyone. I swear, it's, it's insane. And you get the little instruction manual, which just tells you how to turn the phone on and just basic stuff like that. And then we come to the, the UK plug. Oh my God, the best plug in the world. And then we get to the headphones. I'm not sure if these headphones are being released before. I think they may be the same ones as in the iPhone 5. I'm not sure on that, but they feel very comfy. The sound feels pretty good as well. Probably, I will probably use them quite a bit because they feel that comfy. That I feel I'll just put them in. I can listen to music for quite a while. And yeah, I'm fairly impressed with them. Also comes with a standard USB cable. So the power cable, which started, I think, around the iPhone 5 era iPhone 5S, uh, iPad mini, with like the retina display and stuff, and also the iPad Air. So that's the, I really like this one though, because it's literally, you can plug it in either side, so it's very useful, and it's the first time ever you have this plug before, so awesome. All right, so let's have a quick look at the iPhone. Oh my God. So this is the back, let's talk about the back first. So you can see the camera slightly, slightly pops out there, because it just about sticks out a very, very tiny little bit. And um, we've got this little line across there as well. I'm not sure what this line does, but I'm not, too keen on it not sure why it doesn't i just don't really like the look of it this line but also i'm not a big fan of this sort of aluminium look as well i would prefer perhaps like black all over i think they look pretty cool but there we go what can you do um also got the flash there as well but i do I, i'm not i'm not dissing the phone i still like the look of it i'm just saying it's like a few i've been very very picky um so let's talk about the side so the, the side now has the silence the silent button over here that's little switch thing you can get um up and down volume on the other side we have the on and off switch, also the lock switch as well, which is now moved from the top to the side, which is very interesting. Because the phones are getting so big now, they have to move the button somewhere because it's so it's too far to stretch your fingers. I've got a fairly big hand and I'd probably struggle to reach a top button, so that's good. But now the top looks completely plain. It looks just it's just plain sexy metal. It looks so good. So on the bottom we have a headphone, we have the standard USB slot, and also where the speaker is as well. So that's where all the volume comes out. And yeah. Also, I found when you're sort of swiping across, it's not sharp anymore, so it feels nice and smooth. It was really nice to sort of touch. And instead, like, especially with my iPhone 4, I was like, ow, ow, stop cutting me, iPhone. It feels so sharp, but now it feels really smooth. And the glass sort of almost like, I think it's all, it's got a slight curve in it at the end. So this was so good. Um, so what we're gonna do now is access my phone. So this is the iPhone on. It looks very sexy. I've gone for the classic view as well. Um, you can go for like a zoomed in view or a classic. I've gone with the classic, so I've got slightly more apps on there. It is a lot of sorting out because it's a bit of a mess. There's literally so much stuff on there. It's insane. So we can do that. So we can do now is actually swipe across. There we go. See um flag, trash, or more. You can have flag emails, which is very, very cool. So it's very quick little tap, flag the email. I don't like that email anymore. Please don't send me those those emails from that person. Blah blah blah. And it's a pretty good little feature. I like it. So what you can do is tap the home button twice, like that, and you can jump into this view. So now you've got all your contacts up there. So this is all recent contacts. Contacts I've either text or phone called. So you can either like, you can tap on um, Lucy, which is my sister, and you can literally call her mobile or can text her. So that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool little feature. And um, definitely a core addition makes the process a little bit quicker. Also, some of you might have noticed this health app. Um, which I, am I pointing it? Now I'm pointing at it. You can click on that. There's like a health app, which will now actually be able to enable you to actually link other health apps into the iPhone. You can sort of have like a whole hub of health stuff. So you can track your fitness, how much you're moving, your weight and stuff. And that's definitely a cool little feature. It feels like Apple are going to more towards the health aspect with the iWatch and also this iPhone. And I like that. I want to start getting a little bit more healthier. And if it's with me all the time, that's very useful. What you can see now is the camera. You can see me in the camera. That's, that's, that's weird, isn't it? You can see me twice. Um, but yeah, so you've got the camera. The camera is very impressive. It looks absolutely amazing. It's still only eight megapixels, which is slightly disappointing. I would like to see perhaps 10 or 12, because it's very much behind the Android. I mean, the lenses in this phone are a lot better, and the quality is so much more crisp, and it looks so much more sharper. Um, also, you've got 240 frames per se no, is it 240 frames per second filming at uh, 720p, so you can have loads of slow-mo and stuff. Um, you've got 60 frames a second, full HD, I, I think. I'm not sure on that. 
So let's talk a little bit more about this phone. So this phone has 20% more power than the 5S. So for me, it's just a massive difference because I used to have the iPhone 4. So, oh my God, um, <laughs> it's so much quicker. Uh, it's also got 50% more GPU. So it's got more graphics power. So play like your games on and stuff, which is also pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, it just feels more of like a, a step forward. So if you want a bigger screen, this upgrade will be perfect for you. But I think otherwise stick with the 5S or even the 5. Um, it's not... It's not that dramatic. I think the camera is really good though. The camera feels a lot more crisp. The lens is amazing in this camera. It's it's truly remarkable how far we've moved in terms of cameras. I would like to see a little bit more battery power perhaps. Um, I know that the, the Plus has slightly more power um, in terms of battery, but this does, it's only like an extra hour. Um, I would like slightly more slightly more battery would be very nice. Um, but overall, we have the phone. It looks stunning. It feels lovely to use. For me, it's the perfect size. I think the Plus would be too big. Um, I'm very impressed though. I'm excited to use this phone. I recommend the iPhone. I always recommend Apple stuff because it always seems to last for me. Um, Apple stuff doesn't tend to break. Um, I love using it. It feels it's always about the sort of user experience, and I always love Apple stuff. So, yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a little bit different. Um, I tried this video like ten times, and I, I keep failing. It keeps sort of corrupting or something. So, if you have finally seen this video, please give it a like. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the iPhone, and I will see you later. Bye bye.